on another episode of Jatera's Hair Shenanigans. Today we will be creating a U-part wig just because I was bored and to my surprise it came out amazing. Hey y'all welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Jatera Brianna if you are new here. Nice to meet you girl. Today we did a U-part slash V-part wig install. Um, I'm going to customize the wig myself. I'm literally starting from scratch. Um, and then I'm going to show y'all how I did my braid down. And I'm going to show y'all how I installed this. So yeah, if you want to see exactly how I choose this look, keep on watching. And FYI, this video is going to be a full voiceover. So I hope you like that type of stuff because I want to get right to it. Also, all of the products will be linked in my description box below. If you do not know, I am an Amazon influencer. So if you shop with my Amazon storefront, I'll get a little commission, Miss Mamas, okay? So just putting that out there. But yeah, all of the direct links will be on, it'll probably be on my protective style, my protective essential style list, whatever it's called, girl. It's going to be on one of them links. It's going to be on one of them lists. So check the description box below, okay? Like I said earlier, we are starting completely from scratch. Everything you see in today's video can be found on my quick weave list on my Amazon storefront. And just to make it super easy for you guys, I'm going to leave it in the comment section down below so you can shop those direct links. Today I will be using um, oat bundles, so that's why they are already pre-cut. But creating this U-Par wig yourself at home is super easy to do. All you have to do is measure out the bundles cut them to the desired length and then glue them down and don't worry this glue is so freaking strong like I'm gonna show you guys later on throughout the video how durable the wig is and how strong this glue is so FYI here is a tip for all my girlies doing this at home please put like a, pro a protective like plastic bag something to protect your actual mannequin head from this glue because my wig was stuck to my mannequin head and I ended up messing it up. So don't be like me and protect your mannequin head, okay? And as you can see right here, like these tracks, they ain't going nowhere. So in terms of mapping out where you want your part to be and where you want your U part to start, I just use um, a light brown lip liner so I can map it out. I accidentally ended up making my wig too deep, if that makes sense. So make sure you put your cap on your head prior to mapping everything out. And then to get a really full wig, you want to apply your wefts all the way to that marking where you section out your U part at. You wanna make sure that your wig is nice and full so it looks super neat and super natural when you actually put it on. Later on off camera, I actually sewed down some clips onto my wig so I can install it properly. I did that off camera, but just to be sure that the wefts at the top of my wig weren't going to go anywhere. I just wanted to sew those down as well for added security. And once you're done gluing and sewing everything down, you want to cut out the U part that you marked out so your actual leave out could come through this section right here. And then, boom, you good to go. Like, creating a U part is super easy. I'm definitely going to do this more in the future. So moving on to my braid down, I left a good amount of hair out for my leave out. And then, um... Later, I'm going to show you guys how I did my anchor braid. 
um, for the girlies who do not know, the anchor braid just is a braid that surrounds your leave out. So you actually have a secure braid for your unit to clip onto. So that's what I'm doing right here. You want to make sure that your anchor braids are smaller than the rest of your braid down because you this is at the tippity top of your head, okay? And you don't want it to look bulky. And then in terms of leave out, I like to do a lot of edges. So that's why I left out a good amount of hair in the front as well. But this is all up to your preference. Um, and remember, you're probably going to put heat on this hair. So don't be leaving too much out. And um, off camera, I went ahead and did the rest of my braid now, which is just some jumbo braids. I think I ended up doing eight in total. So yeah, now it is time to get our leave out together. Off camera, I went ahead and washed my leave out really quickly and blow dried it so it can be nice and fresh for my install. And I'm just going to flat iron my hair so it blends in seamlessly. And I'm really scared of getting heat damage again, so I only did one pass using, using the um, chase method. If you watched my previous video, I did a trim at home. Girl, my hair is so uneven. But anyways, this is what my leave out is looking like. And it looks really good, to be honest. It's nice and sleek. And I got this doing one pass. So I was really proud of myself. But anyways, off camera, I went ahead and straightened my unit. She is so thick. And she matches my hair so good. And as you can see, these are the added clips. Don't worry, um, I got these clips from Amazon too, and they are also on my quick weave list that is linked down below. So, installing a U part is so easy. The only issue that I had is that it didn't like fully match my head correctly, so I had to do a little maneuvering off camera. But once I put it on, y'all, it looks so cute, like, I can't wait for y'all to see. So boom, she's on. She is nice and full and voluptuous. Um, she was already previously cut, so I really didn't even have to put any layers in. Cause like I said, I wore this hair before. But this is fine. It's giving silk press, real natural. Like, ah, uh, I'm in love. And just to make sure everything looks really nice and flat, I'm gonna go in with my hot comb to touch things up. And now for my favorite part, the baby hairs. I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster. It's my favorite edge control ever. And I'm just going to do some slight baby hairs in the front um, using my edge brush from Roll Easy Roll Self Explanatory.
Y'all can't tell me that all this hair ain't grow out my scalp. Like, it's really giving. Ah! I'm so excited that this came out so good. If you guys try this at home, please comment down below and tell me how it went for you. Okay, you guys. So, I know I didn't talk this entire video. Um, comment down below if you like these type of videos better when it comes to hair tutorials. <laughs> God bless me. Ugh. But this is the final product, okay? I think it came out pretty decent for my first try. I had some technical difficulties because it didn't fit my head properly. Like, it's too big, so it kind of feels loose. But um, over time, I might go and, like, remove some tracks and cut some of, like, the front part of the wig off so I can, like, push it back because jai like right now it kind of turned from a u part to a v part just so i can get it situated on my head properly but i love the way it came out it's like lightly layered because i've cut this hair plenty of times before it blended in really nicely with my hair because previously i dyed it jet black even though my hair not jet black but you you get you you get what i'm saying okay it's just giving winter fall winter vibes the sleek look without me really having to like you know put all the seat on my hair feel me and it just looks natural like i'm over the wigs y'all child i do them here and there when i get a wig sponsorship but baby i'm over the wigs i love the you know realness that it's giving up here okay so if you guys enjoyed this video Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm running out of ideas in terms of what to film next for my hair. So please, please, please give me some ideas. Give me a style that you would like to see on YouTube but no one has done it yet. Or you just want to see moi do it. Feel me like help help the girl out please. So right now go comment. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye mamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh.